Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dalam video ni kita akan bincangkan example 8 yang masih lagi dalam topik uh, 4.2 yang berkaitan dengan equilibrium. So soalan ni adalah an object of weight 49 newton. Okay, so 49 newton is uh, the weight of the object. So this is a known value. Uh, which are suspended by two strings. So kita ada dua tali. So bila ada dua tali maksudnya ada dua ten tension. Which are 30 degree and 70 degree to the vertical as shown in figure 4.12. So let's say theta 1 is 30 degree and theta 2 is 70 degree. The object is in equilibrium. That means the net force on the object is zero. Calculate the tension in each string. So the unknown value for this problem is T. Okay, since we have two a string, so we have unknown value for T1 and T, T2. So let's look at the picture. Weight is added downward. And I have T1 at an angle theta 130 degree and T2 at an angle theta 270 degree from the vertical. Now let's draw a free body diagram for this problem. Make sure you already draw the coordinate axis and represent the object, the body, as a dot. Now I have T1. So, eloknya pakai pembaris lah, okay? At an angle theta 1, I have T2. At an angle theta 2, and I have weight downwards. So, kita nak cari sekarang ni value T1 dan juga value T2. Dan kita sudah tahu net force on this object is zero. So, let's resolve the vectors in the table supaya kita boleh nampak dengan lebih jelas apakah kuantiti yang kita ada dan apa yang kita tidak ada. So, uh, seperti biasa, F, X component dan juga Y component. F yang pertama yang kita ada adalah tension T1. T1x, ok, so kalau kita tengok T1x, ok, kita boleh resolve T1 kepada T1x dan juga T1, T1y, ok, saya lukiskan di sini sementara untuk kita nampak bahawa T1x adalah uh, komponen yang opposite dengan angle theta, manakala T1y adalah komponen yang adjacent dengan angle theta. So, T1x is... Hypotenuse, which is T1, sine theta 1. Okay, pasal apa sine? Pasal dia opposite. Dan kita lihat arrow bagi T1x adalah ke kiri. Therefore, T1x is equal to negative T1 sine theta 1. Manakala T1y, okay, now look at this diagram. If we resolve T1 into Y component, T1Y is upward, so it, it is positive, and T1Y is adjacent to angle theta 1. So, positive T1, that is hypotenuse, adjacent, therefore, cos theta 1. Okay, so saya padam ini untuk uh, lukis benda lain pula, nanti terlalu berserabut sangat nanti diagram kita. Dan yang kedua, we have... T2. Now, T2 can also be resolved into X and Y component. Now, kita tengok T2X dan juga T2Y. Now, T2X is opposite to angle theta 2. So, if it is opposite, therefore, T2X is equals to hypotenuse T2 
opposite is sine theta 2 okay and t to x uh, is in the positive direction to the right so it is positive t to sine theta 2 manakala t to y is equals to now look at t to y the y component of t2 is adjacent to angle theta 2 so if it is adjacent then we use cos theta so t to y is equals to t to hypotenuse cos theta theta 2 and it is also positive because t to y is upward so for positive okay so the next uh, is w okay so saya padam untuk elakkan pening kepala nanti serabut gambar kita okay so w adalah vektor yang ketiga W berada pada Y component, not in X component, and not between X and Y component. Since W is on Y component, therefore, WX is 0. And WY is... The Y component of W is W. Tetapi kita tengok from this diagram, W is downwards, therefore WY is negative W. Now it is a known value since everything is in equilibrium, the net force in X component is zero, that's why we call it equilibrium, and the net force in Y component is also zero because the system is in equilibrium. So now remember we want to find T1 and T2. So kita dapati di sini kita ada two unknowns T1 and T2. So naturally we need to use two equations to find two unknowns. So di sini kita boleh dapatkan equation daripada X component dan daripada Y component. So apa dia equation daripada X component? So, from X component, from X component, from X component, we have T1X plus T2X plus WX is equals to 0 because sum of FX is equals to 0. So T1X is negative T1 sine theta 1 plus T2X is T2 sine theta 2 plus 0 is equals to 0. So WX is 0. So we can substitute the value. We have negative T1 sine 30 degree plus T2 sine 70 degree is equals to 0. So let's rearrange this equation. So let's say I want to find T2. Jadikan T2 sebagai perkara rumus. So T2 is equals to uh, pindahkan negative T1 jadi positif so I have T1 sine 30 divided by sine 70 ok so itu yang saya dah pindahkan let's say this is equation 1 ok so masih lagi belum belum selesai because from this equation we have two unknowns we cannot solve the equation so we need to look at the second uh, equation that is from y component so look at your table look at your table y component is t1y plus t2y plus wy is equals to 0 so t1y plus t2y plus wy is equals to 0 and t1y is equals to t1 cos theta 1 t2y is t cos theta 2 so t1 cos theta 1 plus T2 cos theta 2 
plus wy is negative w is equals to zero now we can substitute the numbers so we have t1 cos 30 degree plus uh, both is positive t2 cos 70 degree minus 49 is equals to zero now substitute so we are going to use substitution method uh, equation one into our second equation so in which t2 is equal to t1 sine 30 over sine 70 so i have t1 cos 30 degree plus this is from the sec the first equation t2 is equals to t1 t1 sine 30 over sine 70 cos 70 minus 49 is equals to 0 so sekarang ini kita punya equation cuma ada satu unknown sahaja because I already substitute t2 uh, dan t2 sama dengan t1 sin 30 over sin 70 so this whole thing is actually t2 mana saya dapat from the first equation t2 is t1 sin 30 over sin 70 so I substitute that into equation now we can solve this equation apa yang you perlu buat ialah you kena tekan cos, cos 30 and then solve sin 30 over sin 70 times cos 70 and then you rearrange the equation and you can find t1 pause the video if you want to calculate by yourself t1 is equals to 46.76 newton so now we already have tension 1 so the question 1 tension 1 and tension 2 calculate the tension in each string so we already have t1 we can substitute this value into equation 1 to find t2 from equation 1 t2 is equals to t1 sine 30 over sine 70 so t2 is equals to 46.76 times sine 30 over sine 70 and we'll end up with a value of t2 that is equal to 24.88 newton okay so that's all for this video we already solved question 8 in next video we are going to solve question 9 question 9 is easier than uh, question 8 so that's all for this video thank you for watching